Hello there, YouTubers. Do you remember the Uher model CG330 cassette deck? Well, today we want to take a look inside this cassette deck. First, let's take a look at the back side of the unit. You can see we get the usual connections. We get a line in and a line out. All, of course, RCA jacks. Then, right there, we have the DIN jack, which is marked with radio, which is kind of wrong. I mean, if you hook up a radio to that, uh, it won't make too much sense. Over there, we have um, the power cord, of course, the main fuse, and uh, right there it says something about the voltage. There we have the usual text about Dolby and about opening up the housing, stuff like that. Right there we have uh, the serial number and it also says that this was assembled in the Juher factories in Munich in southern Germany. And here it is, the inside of the Juher cassette deck. We have four circuit boards, three small ones and of course this main circuit board right here. This little circuit board contains the fuses. Right here we have uh, one that you can't really see. It contains the DIN jacks with the microphone connections. So you can see it. it is also shielded. That's really nice. Here we have a circuit board containing switches and as you can see the screws are kind of loose but I'm not going to fix that because I'd have to take off the whole faceplate. Down here in the corner, of course, we have the transformer. It is nice and well dimensioned, also shielded. And right there we have the most interesting part, the mechanism. Now first I want to zoom in on the motor. As you can see, the cassette deck was made in 1977. The mechanism itself is a pretty interesting construction. You can see we have the heads right here and this is all the uh, eject mechanism. I can uh, put in a cassette. Uh, I better put it in the right way. <laughs> you can see, I want to do that again slides in and then the whole uh, compartment goes down. See that? And then of course you can press um, where is it? Play and the heads will go up and play the cassette. Really interesting construction. Really interesting construction. Oh yes. Down there you can see the counter belts and a little circuit board that I forgot to mention. Um, uh, I think this contains the sensor for the auto stop. Um, so, well you can't see much because it's all, <laughs> it's all closed up here with that compartment. But it is a really interesting mechanism and uh, well, so now let's take a look at the underside of this very high quality cassette deck. This is the underside of the Uhur cassette deck and the reason why I opened this up is located right here. The soldering joints that are connecting the DIN jack to the circuit board, uh, some of them were broken because they didn't use enough solder in the factory. So I had to resolder all those connectors here. Um, so now that should work again. Now you can see the very high quality metal chassis and right there is the underside of the mechanism. And you can see we get a pretty big flywheel, really nice. The belt, it's a flat belt and 
I guess you can see the belt is extremely loose. I'm really surprised that it manages to run the mechanism so well. You can see when you move it, um, the flywheel is um, moves with it. So that's a sign that the belt is good and I have to be careful not to rip it off. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's it still stays in its place. Uh, I have to fix that after the video. However, you can see the circuit board and well basically that's it for the underside of this unit.